Hey everyone, Teresa Sigmund here. Thanks so much for joining us for today's blog because you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, or make the dance and skate dress of your dreams. Now, today's video is the second in an installment of transforming what Marlene called what used to be a sleek racehorse look into a romantic look. So we've taken the same ball gown and after, I think this one's like 10 years old, just giving it a new mm -hmm. look so she feels fresh and, and new in it without having to invest in a new dress because she's not competing anymore. So it's like, why do that? So this is a really great opportunity for me to share with you how to buy a used dress and alter it or to reinvent one that you already have. So in the last one, I showed you what we had going on. So right now we've got both sleeves all finished. And this is, as Marlene said earlier when we were doing the fitting, this is such a romantic look now. And they've got, I've got them all stoned. They're basted in. I do need to do a little bit of alteration still after we did the fitting a few minutes ago. So once that's done, I'll come in and trim off all the excess that's still in here. And this is good to go. Now this is, I love this dress. This was one of the inspiration dresses when I um, created the advanced number one program for the sewing school because it has this beautiful cutout in here. And what's really awesome about this is that there's actually flesh colored lycra. Then there's a little bit of flesh colored mesh so that it gets sequentially sheer. And then from here down, it's just skin. It's just the embroidered mesh with the skin showing through. But that way we had a really nice sheer look without having actual flesh showing. And for most of us, this is a really good way to do it. So that's why I wanted to create the program and tell all, you know, show how to do that. Now, keep going. Now we changed the look of the back quite a bit and we're both really pleased with this look because what it did instead of having this be rounded we created the optical illusion of a deep V. Now the deeper V does two things. One, it creates height. Two, it's also a slimmer look. So if you can ignore these or just look at the previous blog where we did not have the straps on there, this was very widening and for most people it's not a great look unless you have a really tiny rib cage and then you want kind of a curved look because it'll make your rib cage look a little wider to make your waist look smaller. All right, but we've gone in and created these little straps and to accommodate some extra creasing that goes on here due to Marlene's scoliosis, there are actual, there's actually a layer of flesh colored mesh right here, turn just a little bit, and you can't tell because <laughs> it's a really good match. And that's one of the things that drives me up the wall when people make costumes and they don't use the proper color mesh because then you can see it. So really, this is not skin, even though it looks like skin, and so it covers this crease and really camouflages a part, a body part that Marlene didn't want to show. And that's keep go, rotating around. And that's the really great thing about creating your own dress. And one of the reasons that I create these blogs for you is because I want you to know how to create or choose or alter a dress that really looks the best on your body shape and size. So yeah, that is it. I just wanted to share this update. This will be getting um, some one inch or 13 millimeter crinoline in the hem. And I just didn't do that yet because this, the more bulk that you're working on in the hem, then the more stuff you have to flip around on your sewing machine as I'm doing all this. So I just wanted to wait, make sure I didn't have any changes to do. And yeah, and then, so all I have to do is do a little permanent stitching, add some more rhinestones, add the hem, and this dress will be finished. All right, so thank you Marlene for joining me again for part two in the update on this dress. And please, if you have not already signed up to receive the blog, go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address and I'll make sure you never miss one of these training videos. Also, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends, of course, because everybody should know how to look and feel their best in their dance and skate costumes. And lastly, leave me a comment below telling me what is your favorite part of this dress. Do you like just the embroidered look? Do you like the nice romantic 
feel of it? Do you like this panel? Do, one more rotation. Do you like the straps on the back? Okay, go ahead and keep going. Thank you so much. So thanks to Marlene for joining me. She is really, really awesome. And that is it. I will see you all again another time. Thanks so much.